guys, today I wanted to do a video on the Sassafras Science Adventures. Um, this one's Volume 1, Zoology. Um, first, I'm going to start the video out by saying um, this curriculum is actually made to be um, just a half a year. And so you're supposed to use two of these um, books per year um, to make the full 36 week can curriculum um, but for me what I've chosen to do is use this um, curriculum just this one book because um, I wasn't aware of it when I bought it um, I'm just using the one book and I'm um, going to supplement other things with it kind of stretch it out um, and I can kind of give you more of an idea of how we do things every day a little bit later in the video. Um, but just to start, this is the, um, I guess, the main book that you need, the text. And it is in story format. Okay, has the table of contents. So there are... 18 chapters, and like I said, this would be um, a chapter a week is what they would have you do, um, and then your activities and things that go along with it in the book, in the student books. Um, they have a lap booking with zoology as well. We do not, we did not do the lap game this year. Um, it gives a list of the characters throughout the book, some information on the characters, which is pretty neat. Okay, then we start with chapter one. The chapters are um, pretty long, in my experience. Um, we read like one section of a chapter each time we read so we would stop down here at zip lines and smartphones and then we would read on until we got to the end of that little segment and that's pretty much what we do so we um, have been reading the way I've been doing it is we'll read um, a chapter one week and then we will do all the activities and then the following week we kind of elaborate on what we've learned that week so for example um let's see chapter one okay chapter two let's for example chapter two okay we learned about lions and cheetahs and so then the following week um we did more about lions and cheetahs, we watched videos, we read um, books, you could get books from the library or whatever, but I had a lot of um, these books in our home already, so we just kind of did that, watched some videos on YouTube, some documentaries on Netflix, um, just to go in depth with um, these different things. So that's what we've been doing to kind of stretch it out. All right, and here is the logbook, side out logbook. Um, they could put their name right here. I just put their names on the front of the book, so that's why we haven't put our name in there yet. Um, table of contents. Okay, so they have zoology notes. This is where they're going to write, um, Things like lab reports, um, copy work, dictation. This was a copy work um, little excerpt there. Um, this was something that um, information we got out of a book that we read um, on these topics. All right, this is an example of habitat information sheet. The first habitat is grasslands. They're learning about um, African grasslands, and so they put in all their information here and the different um, animals that they find. 
And then here's Grasslands Around the World. All right, then you do your logbook on um, an the animals. The cheetah, elephant, giraffe, some more notes, um, more notes, copy work, notes that they've made off the videos, things of that nature. Um, we obviously haven't gotten here yet. This is um, a project record sheet. I think that this was for, this is for, I um, can't remember which project that was for. I'll have to look in my book, but we haven't gotten to this project yet, so that's why that one's not filled out. Then we'll be moving on to a new habitat. So it goes consistently like that. You go your ha you have your habitat, um, then you have your animal record sheets for each animal. And then you have your notes and your project record sheets. So it goes throughout all different kinds of habitats. Um, my kids really love coming in and getting to fill out their habitat um, information and their animal record sheets. They really love it. All right, so here's the teacher's manual. There's a lot more to do than just your um, log books. So... In the teacher's manual, um, they give you a list of projects to do in here as well. Yes, okay, so there's your table of contents. We've got the introduction. Book list. Um, they give you... Um, encyclopedia readings, um, they'll schedule these throughout. Um, I sometimes just supplement with the different encyclopedias and things that we have here at the house already. Um, these are recommended resources. We do have the side out logbook. I would definitely recommend buying the logbook. I feel like that is just one part that my kids really love about this curriculum. Um, this is digital copy. You can go online and get that. They're also in the back of the book. Um, you have your quizzes and things back here so you can make copies. Um, there's some more papers. All of this is also digital online. You could just get it and print it off. Um, all right, here's additional books. So they give you all this information listed at the beginning of the teacher's manual. So you would know, okay, you could come up here and even get your supplies per chapter, which is great. All right, let's see. Okay, chapter one. Um, they give you a chapter summary at the top in your teacher's manual. Then they give you the list of supplies for your experiment and your projects and activities. Um, then they give you two optional schedules, and I love this because then you don't have to guess um, how to schedule things. You have it right here. You can pick a two-day or you can pick a five-day. You can kind of tweak it and do three days. Um, but I felt like this was a really good guide. We usually do two-day schedule. We might tweak it a little bit, um, but I found this so helpful. All right, it gives the list of the readings, additional library books you can go get, notebooking information, all that's in here, everything that they need, all the information they need to enter into their log books is in here. Um, it tells you the project record sheets, what they're for, um, what the zoology notes are for, the glossary, because at the back of the um, student manual, I forgot to show you guys this. Um, they do have vocabulary. This is the zoology glossary at the back of the student manual. And it just has um, your vocabulary. And they will fill out the definitions of your vocabulary words. So, that's one thing that I forgot to show you when we were looking at the student book. Okay, back to here. 
Um, they'll have a scientific demonstration. This week was an observation walk. Um, there's blog posts. They give you um, the links for blog posts. Um, different things to ask your students on the walk. Okay, then they have games and activities and things for the kids. Um, and here's your copy work and dictation at the end. Okay, and so it goes like that throughout the book. Here's, um, for chapter two, we did have experiments and project activity, um, things that we needed. So, um, that gives you a better idea of what it would look like when... And then for the demonstration, it was a little experiment. Um, then, let's see, multi-week projects. Um, we've started a food chart. Um, and the kids really liked that project. They have a habitat. What you're supposed to do is choose one of the um, projects, and we chose the food chart. Um, they get to add an animal every time they learn about it to their food chart. So it'll go throughout the entire book. All right. Okay. So that's a basic look inside of the teacher's manual. Um, let's see. Okay. At the back, you have your appendix. I kind of gave you a glimpse of this earlier. They have lab report sheets if you um, want to use those with your kids. Um, this is for the habitat, I mean the, the food chart that I said we were doing. Small animal pictures and I just copied this off. I have it right here. Um, we just cut out and color the animals and put them on our poster board food chart that we made. And that's hanging in our school room. Um, these are pictures, I believe some of these pictures are pictures that you can use in your dioramas um, if you choose to make the dioramas. All right. Oops, sorry. There are also extra um, sheets that you might need for projects. Um, we haven't gotten that far yet. Then there's the glossary. Mommy. Um, zoology glossary gives you the definitions of each word, um, quizzes, you've got a quiz, eight quizzes, I believe. There's all the answers, um, that's if you choose to quiz your student. I think it's, they cover like two, um, per, two chapters per test, I believe it's something like that. So we, so far I've just given the tests orally just to kind of see what they've learned. But however you prefer, if you prefer not to do the tests, then that's fine. But um, I do like the option of having, having a test to do. But um, so that was my look inside these um, books for the Sassafras Science Adventures um, in Zoology. If you have any more questions, um, you can put them down in the comments. Um, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions about it. Um, but thank you for watching my video.